Good day, gentlemen. My name is Justin Mark, and in this video, I'm gonna give you five rules so you'll never be seen as a simp again. So what is a simp? A simp is a simpleton, a man who overvalues others, a man who isn't really man, just a little boy, just a man who doesn't really know his values, man, puts other people on a pedestal, especially women, and just doesn't recognize his own value as a human being. So that's gonna bring us to our first rule, is you never, ever, ever wanna put someone above yourself. You should be a god in your own eyes. You should see yourself as the number one priority in your life. You should see yourself as literally like, you worship no gods before yourself. A man who truly knows his value, truly recognizes who he is as a man, his value as a man, the value he's capable of offering the world, he ain't no fucking simp, okay? And just imagine what you could do with your life if you actually understood who you are, the value you're capable of offering the world. It'd be a big fucking deal. It would be a lot, right? You probably have so many unique skills, unique talents, unique experiences to give the world. But for some reason, you think Stacy from math class or some girl on your Instagram is your fucking dream girl. But to be honest, it's like, you don't know how she's living. She's probably broke. She probably has a fucking messy room, <laughs> right? She probably doesn't fucking make her bed in the morning. And but for some reason, because she's got nice booty pics on Insta, you're like wasting your time jerking off to her fucking pictures, okay? You gotta stop fucking simping. Never become a simp again. So number two, stop living for other people. Stop being a fucking pussy ass people pleaser. Because the average guy, he will literally do anything for a woman. I was hanging out with this girl the other day and she was just talking about her ex-boyfriend and how he would go to get her ice cream in the middle of the night in like a snowstorm. And I actually know her boyfriend, like me and her, her ex-boyfriend used to hang out. We used to be kind of like buddies, but I always thought he was a bit of a dick because he tried to get one of his friends to fuck my best friend's girlfriend. And so I kind of was just like, this guy's a fucking loser. He was a fucking simp. And I saw him sipping for his girlfriend and I always want to hook up his girlfriend. And I did the other night. And it kind of blew my mind of like how this guy invested thousands of dollars, years of his time, his time, energy, money, everything for this girl. And she would, she literally showed up to my house at four in the fucking morning. Be like, I'm sad. I broke up with some guy I was dating. And then we end up hooking up, right? And I, hook, I end up hooking up with their friend too. You don't want to overvalue other people's, you know, what the fuck? Like, you just don't want to overvalue other people in general. And a lot of guys, they will be simply trying to be a people pleaser, trying to do everything to be like the nice guy taking care of this pretty girl while she's not even hooking up with you. This is how a lot of guys fall into the friend zone. A lot of guys think if I'm just nice to this girl for a very long period of time, maybe one day she will like me. It doesn't work like that. You need to have attractive behavior and attractive characteristics. And that's what makes women attracted to you. You do cool stuff. You living a life that makes you happy and fulfilled, okay? And living a life for yourself where you are your life's purpose. Your happiness and your success is your life's purpose. The third is stop wasting your fucking money on girls. That could be directly or indirectly. That could be you subscribing to girls only fans. Seriously, if I had a friend who has even subscribed to any girls only fans, I would literally think that's fucking pathetic and I wouldn't want to be friends with that guy. If you subscribe to girls on OnlyFans so you can jerk off to their fucking booty pics, you are a fucking loser needing to get your shit together. Seriously, that's the most pathetic beta shit ever. Even having like a Pornhub premium membership, like these really super low level beta things where you're literally spending money to feed this like simp addiction, that's a fucking problem. Now, another problem, it's a bit of a less of a problem, is when you're spending money on girls that you're not even hooking up with or dating. Like when you have female friends where you're buying them food, you're driving them around. I, do you know how many fucking times I've had guys drive their little fucking, we, we call them in, in my little industry, we call them beta orbiters. These little beta orbiters will kind of like orbit around these girls, right? The word simp is kind of a new uh, terminology. And 
these little simps, these beta orbiters, they'll like kind of hover around the girl and like do her favors, but they don't realize her, like when she calls him up in the middle of the night saying, hey, can you drop me off somewhere? And he like stops what he's doing to go pick up this girl and drive her to my place. It's like, dude, she's hooking up with some fucking random guy and then they'll come pick her up after, right? Do you know how many fucking times I've dated girls? My ex-girlfriend, really hot actress girl, right? And I remember seeing this guy who's just sending her all these hard eyes and all this like just non-stop messages, like non-stop. And she doesn't reply one fucking time. And I ask him like, who is this guy? And she said, oh, he's my driver. I'm like, oh, he's your driver. It was her beta orbiter simp who buys her stuff and spends money on her, okay? I had another ex-girlfriend in Australia who had all these like sugar daddies, but they weren't really sugar daddies. They were just guys who were young guys, who had a lot of money, who were in love with this girl and would spend every fucking dollar they had on her. She made hundreds of thousands of dollars. She had a Mustang and a house in her name. She had all this fucking stuff. She wasn't even that cute, to be honest. She was just a, like average blonde girl with hair extensions, with a somewhat eccentric personality. And she would find like immigrants from China or India to spend money on her. And I remember she would spend that money on me. She would take me to restaurants. She bought me nice clothes. She even gave me like a Louis Vuitton fucking wallet. And I remember thinking, I don't need this. So I sold it online for like $300. She gave me this like a thousand dollar wallet. I just sold it, right? And it's crazy because literally, you just don't want to be the guy wasting your time, energy, and money on girls who don't even like you back. It's a bit of a different situation if you're already dating her, sleeping with her, you guys are friends with benefits or whatever, you have some sort of relationship dynamic that is intimate. But even then, I would limit it. I would try to make it 50-50 if you're in a Western city or country. Uh, and so that way you're not just, she's not, she doesn't become financially reliant on you. If you are living in like a third world country, I think it's more common. Like when I was living in Mexico, it's a little bit more common and normal for the guy to be the one taking care of the girl a little bit. So. It's not necessarily simping, but even then you want to be very cautious and in control of your finances. You never, ever want your girl to say, buy me this. Okay. I remember I had an ex-girlfriend. We were in um, the grocery store and she was like, buy me this. Cause she was, she was mad at me. She said, buy me this. I took it out of the cart. I was like, threw it. I just like threw it on the ground. I'm like, buy it yourself. Okay. But not coming from a place of confrontation headbutting, but from a place of being centered, grounded and having fucking boundaries where you won't let a girl walk over you. Cause a lot of times these girls, they're not necessarily trying to gold dig you, but they're kind of doing it as like a complacence test or sorry, compliance test to see how, who are you? Test your frame, shit test you, see what type of guy you are. So don't get mad about it. Cause if you get mad, that's another simp thing to do. If you get aggressive and reactive, you just prove yourself to be more of a simp, right? But if you're just very centered and like, Hey, I'm not buying this for you because I don't like your vibe right now. Like buy it yourself, right? And when you do buy her something, it's out of you wanting to. I've spent lots of money on my girlfriends. I've taken ex-girlfriends of mine all around the fucking world, but it's because I felt they were adding a lot of value to my life and they weren't asking me for anything. Does that make sense? I will spend money when they're not asking for it, when I want to, when I genuinely want to give them this experience and share it with them. So that's the correct way to do it. The fourth is stop letting your emotions take over your mind because it's not real. Your perception of other people or your perception of a girl you're in love with or a girl you have feelings for, it's not real, it's in your fucking head. If you even think about most relationships, when you're in love, like two people, they're in love with each other, it's not even real. Like, you know, girl and guy. The guy has a perception of who the girl is, but he doesn't truly know who that girl really is. He just has his experiences when he met her and onwards, and then the perception he creates in his mind. And the girl is the same way. Now, a lot of guys, they get stuck in this trap where they meet a girl, they fall in love, they think because she's pretty, she must be a great person, right? She might be evil. She might be a drug addict. She might be a criminal. You never really know her past. A lot of people don't share their past with you, right? And you literally could have no idea who she is, but because she's a pretty girl, you let her take over your mind and you just put all these positive qualities, you project them onto her, even if they're not fucking real. They're, they might not be real qualities, but that's how you feel about her. Stop letting her take over your mind and see reality for how it is, not for how you like it to be. Stop living in delusion. Stop living in this fake woo woo reality because it's not real. A lot of guys, they're not coming from a place of reality. They're not living in what's real. They're not living in the moment. They're not actually seeing the girl's behaviors. They're just noticing 
her looks and how that makes her feel. They're not actually looking at the girl's behaviors and how she actually acts and behaves and where that's gonna get her in the future, right? So if your girl's out going out partying, drinking, smoking, and you're in a relationship with this girl, and she's like just in party mode, what do you think's happening behind your back? Seriously, think about that. Just think about that for a second. She probably sees you as a simp. A lot of guys are not in control in their relationships. A lot of people think a relationship needs to be 50-50. That's not how relationships work. It's not 50-50. Men and women are not equal. Men and women, men and women, a man and a woman is not fucking equal. We are not equal. A man is a man and a woman is a woman, right? You can't ask a man to give birth, right? Right, a man is not a woman. Unless you're like transgendered or whatever the fuck and you go through like a vaginal surgery, right? You don't have a vagina and even then you couldn't give birth, right? A man is a man, a woman is a woman. We're not equal. A man operates at a very high level when he's got a really feminine woman around him and a very feminine woman operates at a very high level when she's got a very masculine man around him to trigger that instinctual positive energy. Great book I'd recommend is The Way of the Superior Man by David Data. Amazing fucking book that would make you understand this concept deeper. A lot of people think, especially in modern society, with the way social media and you know, the modern feminist movement is going, that like, men and women need to be equal. It's 50, 50. it's not fucking 50, 50. In relationships, in human dynamics, if you want a positive relationship, a healthy one, it's not 50, 50, 50, 50 doesn't fucking exist, right? Think about that, think about that, right? That's not how it works. It's not, it's not like a 50, 50 relationship. It's a man and a woman. That's not 50, like it, it's, you're, you're thinking about it in a way that doesn't exist, right? If you want this like 50-50 relationship where it's like, like we're equal partners and that's just how it works. It, it doesn't work like that. And you're not gonna be happy in a relationship dynamic like that. The man needs to be masculine. The woman needs to be feminine, right? You could take advice from your woman. You could look at a perspective. But as a man, you need to be coming from a place within inside yourself. You need to make all your decisions from a place from within inside yourself. You can't look for the external. You cannot look into what's outside of you to make decisions in your life. Because oftentimes women will tell you things to test you or to fuck with you, to kind of see your frame, to see, am I with the right man? Am I with the guy who's actually gonna be able to take care of me, provide for me, give me value, lead our family dynamic, our relationship, potentially if you have kids with her, take care of your kids, right? So that's why women will test you and they'll do these little fucking things. And if you fail these tests, they'll walk all over your ass. And that's why you see a high divorce rate in society, right? That's why you see the divorce rate's almost like 70%. That's why you see so many relationships failing because the men don't realize that they're fucking men. And a man will bring out the woman in his woman. You'll bring out the femininity in your woman when you're truly grounded in who you are as a man. The last thing is put your purpose first as a man. Whatever your life's purpose is, whatever you feel like your higher mission is, figure out what that is, fucking find that out and go chase it. Go chase your fucking dreams, okay? Stop living in fantasy land. Every day you should be living your fucking dreams. Your imagination was given to you by nature or God or whatever you wanna fucking call it so that you can live that fucking life, okay? That is your real life, your real life is what you believe inside your fucking head to be true and it will come true as long as you truly, truly believe in it. So whatever you feel like your life's purpose is, if it's to travel the world, if it's to help people, if it's to provide a lot of value, whatever that dream is, find out what that dream, you know what your dream is. You know what your fucking dream is. Everybody knows intuitively what their dream is. Figure it out and go fucking live it and go live your life's purpose and that should be number one, okay? Your career, your business, your experiences as human being, your life purpose has to come before women, come before your relationship, come before your girlfriend, your wife, whatever the fuck it is, has to be number fucking one. Number one, okay? Put that first and you will never ever be seen as a simp ever again. What's even crazier is a lot of girls see that and they're like, whoa. Like if you look at a lot of girls why are they attracted to men of status and value? Why are a lot of women attracted to celebrities? 
A lot of my friends are huge fucking influencers. They don't have to try with women at all. Girls slide in their DMs. Why does that happen? It's because there are men who are just so fucking on their path and purpose in life that it's just so attractive. That's the most attractive thing a woman can experience is a man who is just centers reality, knows who the fuck he is, is going for what he wants, and living his fucking dreams every single fucking day. That is a beautiful fucking thing. Okay, so guys, my name is Justin Mark. If you have any questions, make sure to follow me on social media and shoot me a message at the bottom of the screen or links in the description. And also make sure to subscribe to our channel and uh, turn the bell notification on so you're notified of new videos. Make sure to do that right now. Also, make sure to hit the thumbs up, the like button for the YouTube algorithm, so that way this video does well and more people will be aware to stop their simping. Let's try it. Let's try it for one month. Try to not simp. No sip behavior, no OnlyFans, no Pornhub, no jerking off, no being this beta male provider orbiter guy, right? No simping for one month. That's my challenge to you. Try to stop simping for one month. Put your purpose as a man first. Go for what you want. Go for the gold. And I will see you guys in the next video. My name is Justin Mark, and I'll talk to you very soon.